Hello guys, welcome back, this is Lemmeth Gaming as always, and welcome to the channel. Uh, this is the start of my Remnant playthrough. Uh, all the footage that is taken is taken from stream, so it is. And it is chopped down into its key parts, so it is. So it'll be a series plus stream. Obviously the stream's always going to be more ahead than what the series is. Um, but knowing all that there, we should be fine. So we should be, as you can see, I've already had a character made and tried playing through it. Didn't go, didn't get very far, got far enough, but didn't get very far. So that's that. A uh, new character, obviously. And we are going to make our way through the game piece by piece. Uh, you can catch me on the streams. I will be streaming roughly every day and there will hopefully be either one or two parts going out each day as well, depending on how chock and block my schedule may be. But other than that, uh, the reason why I'll be the reason why I'm doing this here is kind of because uh, my intro is deleted this because uh, from the stream point of view, uh, I what may have had my mic muted for a first sure of it. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was me being stupid. That so it was. But um, here you go, cutscenes playing, and I hope you all enjoy. And um, you will be hearing me hearing from post commentary me again at a later stage. In search of an end to the beasts that have hunted us for generations. An end was found. Or so we thought. When the dragon rose into the sky like a phoenix. Blazing in flames of agony. But our hero never came home. Only the storm. The beasts. The unshakable dread that something had twisted and turned. The journey will not be easy. Storm swirls round the dragon's tower like a shroud. The dragon may be dead, but in its ashes, I fear something else has awoken. You will fight for every step. You must reach the tower, learn what became of our warrior, face what lurks within. When our last hope fails, another shall take its place. So long as we have breath. Hang in there. Hurry You're up, gonna be Ellen. okay. We got company. Move. Move. 
you will have noticed that I had very quickly skipped through the tutorial or cut the tutorial out because realistically it didn't teach you anything that you needed to know. There's an area later on down on the video that will teach us everything that we need to know about what we are doing. So it is, oh, I just decided to remove it. Sorry for talking over the audio, it's kind of bad for me to be doing that there, but I will reduce the audio volume. I do apologize for it, but uh, yes, I shall be explaining my way along this here due to the fact that, uh, yes, as I had previously said, I may have accidentally had my mic muted throughout the course of uh, the first piece of this stream. So yeah, that was really stupid of me, but it does come back on. I have it cut to the point where it is going to be useful. So it is uh, all not there. It's just the key features are in. And it's just, it's all the starting stuff that you sort of usually do at the start of the game. You sort of work out your controls, things like that there. You follow your quest markers, if it even is a quest marker, but you get the idea. But this is a perfect opportunity for me to explain to you, well, the idea of uh, Remnant. It is literally, literally, a Dark Souls Destiny... Uh, it's Gun Souls, but there's like a hybridization of all... The different things and it is beautiful i am loving this game quite thoroughly there will be a view, review going up once i finish my first playthrough of it and yes i will be getting into this quite quite literally so i'll leave you la i'll leave you at that well well look who's awake you put up quite a fight outside our gates It's with Riggs downstairs. If everything checks out here, I'll see you get it back. I'm Commander Ford. This is my base, and you, friend, are an unexpected guest. It's my job to know the kind of people I bring into Ward 13. We haven't seen a living soul on that shore for weeks. You will tell me why... Hm. No one has been in that tower in a very long time. But you've got no chance of getting there in this storm. Truth is, the ward has been cut off. We had to block the gates after we dragged you in. The root are everywhere. But, now that you're here, I'll tell you what. You want to leave? First, we need power. With enough, the reactor is... Get it running, then come back here. We already lost him. Go check in with... I don't imagine you're... Fit. You do this for... Okay, guys, so this is where the sort of the game starts to really sort of... This is the real tutorial area rather than the tutorial that I had uh, abruptly and um, somewhat cut out. But, um, yes, the this part coming up is more or less the tutorial area. You get to pick your specialization and so on and so forth. As I said, this is not necessarily up until now. This is not necessarily as blind as a bat. What? But this is where we currently are sitting, so it is, um, we meet Ace down in the reactor room, and this is where we get to pick our specialization, which I'm going to run over, which I did in the stream, but uh, of course I've already explained all this. I don't have the audio. <laughs> so this is more or less your first real tutorial in how you play the game, more or less. So it is. So basically, what Ace does is, is she allows you so to choose your specialization. I'm going to reacting. give you a well, brief idea a of what noise. each specialization is about it's whenever they actually do decide myself, to come up. Yes, I am really like making this long winded because, because I'm sitting waiting on my footage to catch up with her. Okay, I'm saying. So, so it is because basically it's just a chatter and match, and it's just starting to get in my way. So it is because fucking hell, for somebody who's so impatient, I really am a chatter. Right. So you have the hunter, the axe cultist. And the scrapper, right? So these three, the best way you can put it: close range, mid range, long range. That's literally the way it works. Scrappers close range, all about melee damage and shotguns close quarters. Hunters long range, picking out the weaknesses. And the ex cultist is basically your mid range and as well as your healer. So it is. So not exactly. You get your three playstyles, but as said, builds will vary whenever you start playing through the game because there are so many other things that come into account so there is whenever you're playing this game i had picked scrapper in my first playthrough and it does come with actually a first uh, off the bat damage stat but it, you have to be very close range to make use of it so it is but at the end of the day it's still it's still good to have so it is so as far as i'm aware yes you start off with your class's trait i don't know what the ex cultist's trait ex cultist 
trait is but I do know the scrapper gets a damage a basic straight up damage trait at the start of the game and as I said one one class is long range one class is mid range one class is short range it's as easy as you can say it so it is get up there and start the reactor So this is what I had more class as the tutorial because this is where you get your first real taste of the gunplay in a remnant. So it is. This is the first real taste of gunplay plus your melee play. This this gives you your real taste sort of those, and it does it, it does work. I must admit, I've been playing now for nearly 30 hours, and I must admit it is well impressive. By the way, bearing in mind by the time I actually come up with the idea of this, it was alright to me. <laughs> So yeah, I'm well, I'm well ahead in terms of stream and when this video is going. Good. You best go check. Come visit my shop sometime. Yeah? I'll make sure to give you the... Okay guys, so right now, right here, this guy here is more or less your general goods vendor. This is literally what he is. But he gives you an item at the start of the game called the Dragon Heart, which is legitimately your Estus. That is why it is so much like Dark Souls. You basically have your Estus. And that's it. He's also your general merchant who will sell you uh, items of interest. Hey friend, Ford mentioned we should... So, ah, in this part of the tutorial, it's simple as we have jumped back to uh, Riggs. I obviously cut out the start because there was no real point talking to him because he didn't really give you much information. But this is where you, uh, uh, this is your upgrade person. So, it is. this is the guy that you come All to right, to get your upgrades. Yeah, he upgrades your weapon, oh, he, upgrades you, uh, he upgrades your armor, and basically he makes sure that he keeps you fit. This is also the first set of armor that you do get, and because I picked the hunter, ah, we also go. get basically the I think it's like weakness Every exploit or weakness aim. Can't remember exactly, but it's the armor's actual sort of set bonus. So it is. So pretty damn useful in uh, if you're aiming for the weak it's points true. of an yeah. enemy. You Which yeah, right you're trust me, you're gonna be wanting to do that. The cave over there. Well, but uh, you know she's not. My
So you're the straight. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Apparently taken. Ford's gonna give me. I'm McCabe. I'm not some scrap. All right then. <laughs> From the look of that, that's all you get me more. Comp now get out of here. I'm tired of your yapping jaw. Not even. I sorry. I am a fucking muppet. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am an actual muppet. I am an actual muppet. Oh my god. I'm an actual muppet. My mic was muted this entire time. Yeah, yeah. And she gives us weapon mods. I was wondering what was going wrong. And the hunter mod. Right on this. Oh, it's actually nice because it actually changes your gun. Like, like the mods actually change your guns. But I can't believe that. They're my head. I can't believe that. I actually cannot believe that. Well, Muppet. So I am an good actual to see Muppet. You more equipped. Riggs and McCabe do good work. I hope this will be enough to get you on your way. And I see Reggie gave you the dragon heart. Yes. And Let's just get on with this, please. Leave. He said we should. Well, considering you. Because basically the idea is. With any luck, we. We should be fine to work with. Long story short. Right. Let's activate the key. No shit, Sherlock. Press the key to continue. And now we basically, this is whenever the co-op side of the game starts. I still can't believe I'm a Muppet that did not, didn't, didn't realize that he had this mic. That's how good of a person I am. I am a, I am a pleb. A pleb to the times ten. So I am, I am a pleb to the times ten. Right, yes. I never saw it working. This. You want to get out of my ground? Yes, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. If you want to. I know. Here you go. So he is. He's the general of goods. So he sounds like your blood work, which is going to be useful for you. Our ammo box is going to be useful. Basically, all this stuff's going to be useful. Regardless to who the hell you think you are. If you think you don't need it, you're wrong. Right. There's me. Yes, she sells your quote unquote your upgrade materials. Like so. I don't need any just yet because I don't have anything to upgrade just yet. To it as well. Has the actual other three. Certainly. So if you go over to buy items, he also has the coach gun, the scrap hammer, the hatchet, the shotgun, and the other armors as well. So that in there has challenger, which increases damage dealt to all enemies within 2.5 meters. That's basically your close. Uh, there's just close quarters damage. So it is. So if you're if they're going to get up up close and powerful, you'll want to be able to kill them. A uh, crit generate mod power that there's for the healer, obviously, and he obviously sells the other one. Take care, my friend. So yes, I will Keep be reviewing them. all of the armors later on. Game. Again guys, sorry for the rough start and guys this has been Lemeth Gaming. I hope you've all enjoyed. Please like, share and subscribe and guys I shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye!